Time now for French Connections, our weekly look at the intricacies of life here in France. And I'm joined on the set, as always, by Florence Villeneuve. Hey, Jeannie. Hi, Flo. Now, in the wake of the recent national support we saw in Australia for gay rights, today you're going to focus on LGBT rights here in France, where after intense protests, same-sex marriage and adoption were legalized in this country in 2013. On May 18th, 2013, France became the 13th country worldwide to allow homosexual couples to marry. This mariage pour tous, marriage for everyone, as it was known, uh, this law was spearheaded by the justice minister at the time, Christiane Taubira. You can see her here. It's often called the Loi Taubira, in fact, and it was hailed by uh, left-wing voters as a major step forward towards equality. But that law also left France very deeply divided. Indeed, because hundreds of thousands of people took to the streets in defense of traditional values. They actually tried to stop the law from going forward. There were several massive demonstrations across France. Now, these were mainly Catholic protesters, and they joined forces under the banner of La Manif pour tous, the protest for everyone. Their slogan was Un papa, une maman, one father, one mother. We want a mom and a dad. Gay people? Those people don't have a brain. They're imposing two fathers, two mothers. It's not fair for kids. We're here to defend the kids, not for ourselves. Now, despite that strong show of resistance, a majority of French people actually were in favor of legalizing gay marriage, but several key issues still remain unresolved today. There are some issues that are unresolved. The main sticking point today resolve, revolves around something called la PMI. You might have already heard of this mysterious acronym. It's actually our acronym or word du jour. PMI is procréation médicalement assistée, so medically assisted procreation. But what is that? Well, essentially, it, uh, it uh, is several things. It can be artificial insemination. Nation, so artificially introducing a sperm, so donated sperm or not, into a woman's uterus. And it can also be IVF, so in vitro fertilization, where an egg, donated or not, is combined with sperm, donated or not, outside of uh, the body. The fertilized egg is then transferred uh, into the woman's uterus. So those are the two things that PMA is. And currently, PMA, uh, so medically assisted procreation is legal only for heterosexual couples who are having a hard time conceiving. Now, in 2014, it was about 3% of babies born who were born thanks to uh, PMA. So we're talking about 25,000 babies, one out of every 32 newborn babies. Now, when it comes to lesbian couples or single women, they're actually forced to travel to other European countries where this PMA is legal. Let's take a look at a map, actually. You'll see that uh, it's legal for uh, for lesbians and a single woman in several other uh, European countries. Denmark, for instance, is a popular destination, as are neighboring Spain and Belgium. And it's no secret. Uh, that this is going on. In fact, lawmakers behind marriage equality were hoping to include PMA in the marriage equality law. In a way, we've legitimized the practice of going to Belgium or Spain for medically assisted procreation, because according to the law, both members of the couple, both women, can be legal parents. And that's good news for those children. Now, the bad news here is that it's both expensive and complicated, and it often prices out poorer women or poorer couples. Indeed. And in fact, last June, a national ethics committee backed the idea of opening up medically assisted procreation to all women, gay, straight, uh, single, in a couple. And this is actually a promise that Emmanuel Macron made when he was running for president. And he repeated this in his very first big interview at the Elysee Palace. À partir du moment où on a accepté pour Des femmes vivant en couple. Once we accepted that women living in a couple can benefit from medically assisted procreation, it's logical that we recognize that right for single women and same-sex couples, given that we recognize that a mother can raise a child on her own and that two women can form a couple. Now, this, of course, opens up a whole new bag of worms. For example, who is going to pay for these procedures? Well, currently, it's Assurance Maladie, so the state-subsidized uh, health insurance that covers this procedure 100 percent for women so long as they're under 43 years old. The question is, could that be the case for all women if it indeed becomes legal for all women? Now, on top of that, some scientists are sounding the alarm over the possibility of a shortage 
of a sperm, of donated sperm, if indeed this procedure becomes legal for everyone. Now, uh, critics also say that PMA, so uh, this medically assisted procreation, actually is just an open door paving the way to another controversial acronym, and we'll take a look at this. This is another uh, acronym that comes up a lot when you're talking about gay rights these days, GPA. Now, this is gestation pour autrui, essentially surrogacy. Now, surrogacy, of course, is still very much illegal here in France. So how are they going to work around that? Well, it's indeed a source of a lot of emotion here because critics say that it actually leads to the commercialization of human bodies, a baby market, if you will. Now, just like for PMA, uh, gay couples actually go to other EU countries where uh, this procedure is legal. But it's a lot trickier than it is for uh, this medically uh, assisted procreation because up until 2015, France actually refused to recognize children that were born from surrogates uh, abroad. They uh, Essentially, they weren't French citizens, and so it left a lot of these children in legal limbo. Now, uh, France changed that after getting scolded, I guess you could say, by the European Court of Human Rights, but it still is very much a, a very touchy uh, subject here. President Macron, for instance, says that he's very much against opening any debate on surrogacy, but hardline Catholics, they're worried. They say that actually if we legalize, uh, you know, medically assisted procreation, it's just an open door to surrogacy. So they've vowed to to fight on all fronts. In fact, they want uh, marriage equality to be repealed as well. Mm, Flo, thank you so much for that. Florence Villeneuve with this week's uh, French Connections. Don't forget, if you have any other questions for Flo about things that are happening here in France or that you want more information about, you can always send her a tweet at Flo Villeneuve.